Hey guys, this is Sam from Fluid Social, and today I'm here with Jordan. Hey people. Jordan is the first person I think you and you and Sam are the first two people that I ever went out with. Correct. To do the to do the approaching back yeah. in the day. In like what was that late 2014 2015 2014 yeah 2014 2015 yeah, yeah yeah 20 me and you is made at first i believe it was me and you yeah me and you we have we used to do approaches all the time yeah. I, I used to come to nottingham in nottingham city center and you were from you were in derby weren't you before exactly you were, yeah. yeah yeah so i just come and we meet up and we hit it up hit it up basically yeah. all the time and then we started uh Recording our stuff, like I think, uh, like 2015. Yeah, we'd yeah. go out with like the the mo with the phones and start filming it with like the voice recorder on another phone exactly. to record it, like putting together little things. And we True. were talking about this stuff, huh? We were talking about like fil like properly filming and, and yeah, doing the YouTube stuff. Ex exactly, man. Like we we would talk about it all the time. Like it, it was, um, you know, we we didn't have a lot of equipment. We didn't have like yeah. all all we had was heart, really. Like we just had soul, man. We just had passion heart and our balls dude that's it and you know we 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 put it together and yeah. like yeah Nat, seeing you now in this situation like i've, I've said it already I've, yeah. I've told you before it's it's it incredible just gasped me to my fans quickly he's the best dude i suck <laughs> his dick all the time <laughs> yeah it's very good very good man I, lo yeah. I love seeing this and um you know i i, I want to see the progress i, I I, I still want to see the evolution and, and where, where you're going to take it yeah, from Yeah, but here, man, man, like, we, 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 pro I think we learned a lot from each other when we started out because we were both, like, I guess, like, really, like, into it and we never really had a big problem with, like, the, the biggest problem that the guys face is mm. literally go getting out of the house and doing the approaches. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think mm. we didn't allow each other to have that excuse. Like, if I didn't approach, yeah. you would have just been like, man, come on. Yeah, for Like, it would have been like, dude, the fuck? Oh yeah, for sure, dude. We we pushed each other to the max. Like, yeah. I, I would come over on on the weekends. I would come over to your house on the on the weekends and to then do immersion. We, to go in on immersion, dude. Over the weekend, three we do days, a, man. Three, two or three, three days. days, all day, all night, all day, all night, and yep. all the next day. And a little weed at the end of the night to balance everything out, and then back into it the next day. And yeah. and to be honest, we we did we learned a lot, man. Yeah, we learned a lot. Yeah, so that was never our problem. It was we were never like oh. You know, I'm too nervous to go and talk to her, mm. or maybe like once or twice. But it would, would like, I would lie about it if I was just too nervous. I'd make up like a really believable excuse so that you wouldn't, <laughs> so that you wouldn't diss me for it. I'm tired. You know? <laughs> yeah, 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 man. I need a new shirt. I need a new shirt. I'm not feeling it. I smell a little bit. You know. Yeah, yeah. but um, yeah, we went really hard at the start, mm -hmm. and uh, and then we kind of split paths a little bit. Really. Yeah, man. I, well, I came to London because I started working with students with mm. learning difficulties. Yeah. That was in Nottingham. And then I think I applied for a job with one of the big companies in London. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah. got like a taster session and just came here and then just started sleeping on sofas in London to make <laughs> it happen. And then me, I, I, obviously I went the other way, opposite. I had a girlfriend, like yeah. 2015. Who I was a little bit in love who with. Who he was in love with, to be honest. So in 2015, I was doing, like, I was in abundance yeah. at that time. Like I was doing my thing, dude. And that was that was when I was coming into, that was that was when I was really coming into like, my own like my masculine center as far yeah. as approaches go and, and like getting better with, with women yeah um so yeah sort of like it was 2015 and then i met obviously i met my girlfriend and then that's obviously do you think I like split. you were in such a good place because of the work that you'd done on yourself because we were also like meditating a lot and like mm -hmm. i think we both had a little bit of um anxiety problems as well for sure like, we yeah. both yeah. definitely had some uh mental health like for sure, yeah, like for sure, yeah, mental health difficulties a little bit, some anxiety. Yeah. Um, I think we also, um, I, I think it was just like a, I, I, I would say it's just the, the natural evolution of a man too. Like yeah. to be, to, you're putting yourself in, into a situation that a lot of people, you know, don't 100%. do. Don't do. So you, it brings you, out demons, heart. Like when you go in on yourself and you start breaking down your identity and all the things that you think you are. You start tearing that apart like you definitely release demons through that process like. exactly man exactly yeah and now seeing the the transformation of you man traveling to brazil and and doing all the things that like how we said we wanted to make a pickup company yeah sending our stuff to street attraction and now you know well, you're, man, we used to watch them didn't we? we used to watch the attraction all the time <coughs> man. like uh I, I, remember, I still remember when we uh messaged richard and and every and oh, you know tried to get video. up yeah. we sent him radical humility yeah bro radical. i can't find it man i can't find that video Mm, mm. <coughs> we recorded a video called Radical Humility where we were discussing the idea that you need emotional intelligence mm. and to do that you just have to humble yourself and so it doesn't matter really what you're saying as long as what you're saying is coming from like a good place yeah. 
Yeah. We put the whole video together on iMovie and sent it to uh, Richard from Street Attraction really early on. And he gave us some feedback and like helped out with what camera was Did he? Used. Did he yeah, give us yeah, feedback? Yeah. He gave I didn't some, know about that. Oh, he gave man. us some feedback on it. And uh, mm. yeah, it was a big deal at the time. That's really awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. And now you're, you're just, you know, you're swinging your vine now. You're swinging on your vine through London. You're in yeah, London. Yeah, swinging through London. Swinging through London oh, at the vines. moment. It's a beautiful thing, man. It's, it's good to see you. Dude, you've always loved these uh, overcast. I was always like, man, where's the fucking sun? These are my like, days, dude. You love these, like... Yeah, yeah, these are my days, man. This is, like, if, if this was... If this, if I was a free man, if I was a free bird, I would I would be soaring through London right now looking for a Eagles. place to nest. <laughs> looking for a place to nest. And you know what I mean. Yeah, man. I'm I sure know. you know what I mean, too. Yeah. <laughs> So what, so what do you think, uh, like what have you learned through the process? Like, because we, we left, it, I guess in 25, early 2015 or late 2014 when you met Fekla, like mm -hmm. before that, we were kind of on the same path. And I don't think any path is better than the other in any way. Yeah. Like what do you think you've learned that a lot of guys that, I guess, either have really, really bad relationships or don't work on their relationships, yeah. Or they go into the, the other route and fuck loads of women but never feel secure about themselves. Like what lessons did you learn going into a like good relationship that you think a lot of guys miss out on? I would say um, I would say like you 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 de you learn things about yourself that you you never you never fucking realize yeah. that that you happen. Like you can go through life and you can fuck women. You can fuck as many women as you want, and that's like an amazing path to take. If you want to do that, you can do it. Yeah. But when you get into a relationship and you actually love that person, man, all these insecurities come up, bro. Like, I, I don't know about me. Maybe it's just me. I'm fucked up. Like, my, you know my childhood, man. You know, up, man. Yeah, well, you know where I come from. Up, we both are. Yeah. Well, like, where I come from, like, you, you know, all these insecurities just come up. All your demons come up, man. It, it's completely different than just being out and just approaching and blah, blah, blah. But, but yeah. they both have, they both have their, their, um, they both have their advantages. Like, going, coming, like, I was in abundance. Like, when I first got with that club, I was completely in abundance. And... Like that, that helped me. That helped me to know, like a lot, a lot of guys go into relationships and they, they, they're, they're, they've only been with that one chick, or they, they, yeah. they don't have any options. And it's, it's not a good, it's just not a good thing, for, especially for the woman, like subconsciously knowing that you were her, you were the only option. I know. She was yeah, the only yeah, option that you had. It's problematic for both. It's problematic for the guy because he's like, what if? Mm. What if? What would it be like if I was with other women? Mm all of these what ifs and it's problematic for her yeah. because she and can never feel secure like you've chosen her exactly. she always just feels like well what the fuck else was he gonna do what the fuck like, were you doing yeah, yeah. and like with, and, and if, if guys are looking to get into good relationships if that's what guys want if you want to have a good relationship then that you you have no choice if, if, you, if you're not good with women you're not natural women you have no choice but to team up with somebody like Sam yeah. or look at somebody like Sam look at their videos go out and do what they used to do because this is exactly what we did when we first started yeah, out we, were, yeah. we, we didn't know what the fuck we were doing to be honest, I think you were kind of natural. Yeah, well, that, I think you were pretty natural. You said that at the time. Like, this is what I think about this. Mm. So, I think you can have people who are naturally like fairly good socially. So, I think I went to boarding school, mm. and so that was a big advantage for me in terms of like I could be around groups of people. Yeah. I could like have small talk. Mm. But um, we're gonna go through these videos, and what I noticed looking back at our videos and thinking back at our interactions is mm. I could hold a small talk conversation, but it's really obvious that I don't believe in what I'm saying. I'm mm. just skimming the surface of a conversation i'm not able to deal with the tension that comes with like cutting a bit deeper you know yeah yeah yeah. so like yeah. one big mm -hmm. thing is like pauses and stuff like back then it was like oh keep the conversation going make her laugh oh she's laughing i'm saying the right thing i'm cool i'm doing well but really it's like no embrace the tension yeah like it's better to even be a little bit nervous mm -hmm. and and come to terms with that and like yeah. address it and pause and like let there be a connection between you and her rather than just keep talking to make it the conversation fluffy and easy. That know? was one of our biggest problems, dude. That was one of our biggest problems. And there was in the, like that, that, the groundedness that say that you are now, like yeah. the experiences that you've had and how grounded I am now, dude, I know if I was to come back and do game now, I know I could do cause some fucking damage. And that, and now I know it's like a superficial way to look at it. Like, oh, you could, you know, you can get bitches, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But like, I know for sure if I was to come back and do game now from how grounded I am and the experiences that I've had, dude, like, I know for sure I could, I, 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 I'm, I'm a lot more grounded than I used yeah. to be. Like. You know, you know, as they'll see in these videos. Yeah, but, <laughs> but but even then, man, I think the amount of work that we did in a short space of time, like we really just went hard, like mm. almost every day. Yeah. 
like that amount of work you just do improve quickly yeah. it is like a compound it is a compound effect mm. and like you know i'm really patient with people who have a lot of problem approaching and mm. they have wild approach anxiety but like the difficulty is that all you can really say to that person is like you're not going to be scared once you're there it's mm. just right now Bro, I was there with you when you were teaching Artie, man. Like, I was there with you when yeah. you were, you, the, the special, not special needs, but autistic. Yeah. He's autistic. You were teaching him, dude, like, skills. And I, I saw the difficult, I saw all the difficulties that you had to deal with. Mm. Um, and even at that time, still being able to approach and still be able to, like, still be able to try and, like, nail down all your sticking points all the time. Like, yeah, man, for sure, the, the work that you put in, like, you know, you beat most mo with as far as work goes and, and putting work in. You beat most people when it when it comes to that. In, in my mind, um, yeah, man. Some those are some real fucking. Those are some fun times, man. Those are some yeah, fun time. we, interesting times. We we just figured a lot of stuff out mm -hmm. like concurrently. Yeah. Like we figured out about the approaching and then how that related in a way to like the spiritual side as well with meditation mm -hmm. and exercise and stuff. Yeah, and then like to be honest smoking weed and like reflecting was probably really helpful as well mm -hmm, but then mm -hmm. at the same time there was I think there was always like a darker side because yeah. we both had a shitload of demons yeah. and there was maybe a sense that we were trying to like we were kind of competitive in a really subtle way yeah. or we like stoked each other's egos in a certain way yeah dude you were fucking miles above me though like the, all, the whole time man when we used to game you were miles dude, I above I me I actually dude. genuinely didn't I love that I don't though. think so I, I don't think it. so now I think I was more naturally like the social skill, like I have more of the like social For conversation, sure. but yeah. you could cut deeper in a conversation. I was, so you were able to like stand with the girl and just look her dead in the eye and let it be silent. Whereas I would have done some bitch like fluffy behavior where I start like dude, jumping from foot to yeah. foot. So we had, we had like different, we had different strengths. I think. We all have our moments though. Like sometimes yeah. like you would, you would excel, you do uh, amazing. Whereas like sometimes I'll just like, you know, fuck it up and just like, you yeah. know, I, I wasn't as like, um, I wasn't as grounded yeah. as I should have been. And also if you did really, mm. were doing really well, then I would fall into like the, the follower. Like, <laughs> yeah. Do you yeah, know what dude. I mean? Your, your dynamic can really influence the Can we way talk about like you... specific things? Like, okay. that, yeah. like, cause I I remember one day, bro. I remember one time we were at a uh, forum. I can't yeah. remember who we were out with, but we were at forum, <laughs> and it was like these uh, forum club. <laughs> yeah, uh, we were out together, and um, like I was having a shit night, dude. It was a fucking horrible night oh. for me, to be honest. But you had left with these two chicks, man. And I don't, I think you, I don't know if you fucked both of them or something. I think you might have fucked both of them, but like. Yeah, I, I just, I, I don't know, like, when, whenever I think back to certain memories, like, that, that's one memory that sticks out. That's one memory that sticks out to me, man. And that was, like, uh, that was basically in the infancy of your gaming, like, career, if, you would, <laughs> if we could say it, if I, if I could say that. Man, the industry is so funny, though, isn't it? Like, yeah. It's so funny that someone just started using this language, and now, like... Everyone's using yeah, it, like, just, yeah. We, we were taking the piss out of, uh, we were taking the piss out of the language, like, mm. from quite an early time, like, oh, man, did you see that three set? The DHPs? Yeah. 